Good morning. So our topic for today is about the sum of the finite geometric sequence, finite or finite, still the same, which means it is limited based on the number of terms that we are going to calculate. This is still, this is still in continuation with our topic in geometric sequence. Now, to get the sum of the finite geometric sequence, our formula is S sub n, which is equal to A sub 1, times the quantity of 1 minus r raised to the power of n divided by 1 minus r, where our a sub 1, of course, refers to the first term of the given finite geometric sequence. r refers to the common ratio. And n, of course, refers to the number of terms or the position. But this time, since we're looking for the sum, n refers to the number of terms that we're going to calculate. So let's have our first example to fully understand this formula. So let's have our first example. Find the sum of the first 10 terms of 2, 4, 8, 16. So if you study the sequence given, this is actually a geometric sequence, 2, 4, 8, 16. Now the first step is to find the common ratio. Now what is the common ratio? That is the constant number that we use to multiply to determine the next terms. But in all other way of finding the common ratio is the current term divided by the previous term. So you can just pick any term here except for the first term. Pick any term that you want to use as your current term. So let's say I will be using 4. So 4 is my current term divided by the previous term, which is 2. So 4 divided by 2, which means our common ratio is 2. Or you can just look at it and identify manually. Because 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. So common ratio, 2. Now that we have our common ratio, let's now proceed and solve to identify the sum of the first 10 terms. So since we're looking for the first 10 terms, so this will become S sub 10 is equal to a sub 1, our first term of the given sequence, which is 2. And then let's draw our bracket. And then 1 minus. Common ratio is positive 2. Let's draw a parenthesis so that to separate it from the sign, which is part of the formula. Raised to the power of n, and that is 10. Because we're looking for the sum of the first 10 terms. Divided by 1 minus the common ratio, which is 2. Let's proceed. S sub 10 is equal to, copy, 1 minus positive 2 raised to the power of 10. So that's 2 times 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 2. That's 2 multiplied by itself 10 times. So that's 1024. Positive 1024. Then 1 minus 2 will give us negative 1. Now we can proceed. To, um, S sub 10 is equal to 2 times 1 minus 1024 gives us negative 1023 divided by negative 1. Next, S sub 10 is equal to negative 1023 times 2. This will give us negative 2046 divided by negative 1. And then 2046 divided by negative 1 will give us Negative divided by negative is positive, so which means our final answer is 2046. That's it. Just ignore the line. Final answer, 2046. Let's proceed to our second example. For our second example, find the sum of the first 
8 terms of 4, negative 12, neg uh, positive 36, and negative 108. So again, first step is always determine the common ratio. So I will select negative 12 as my current term divided by the previous term which is 4 or you can also select 36 divided by negative 12 or 100 negative 108 divided by 36 either way they will give you the same common ratio so common ratio is negative 12 divided by 4 this will give us negative 3 as our common ratio now that we have our common ratio, let's go ahead and use the formula. We're looking for the first eight terms. So S sub 8 is equal to A sub 1, our first term is 4. And then let's draw another bracket. 1 minus. Now this is a little bit trickier, so you need to be very careful with the sign. Our common ratio is negative 3. This is why I draw a parenthesis earlier to separate it because there are cases where the common ratio is negative. So you need to make sure that they have their own space and is not really distracting you in a way. Raised to the power of n, which is 8. Then 1 minus. The common ratio again is negative 3. Again, same thing. Make sure to draw a parenthesis to the, so that there will be no confusion with the sign. Perfect. Now let's proceed to the next step. Let's evaluate manually. So S sub 8, which is equal to 4, one, um, let's copy first and then evaluate manually. So 1 minus... Negative 3 raised to the power of 8. So again, this is negative 3 times 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 negative 3. Negative 3 multiplied to itself 8 times. Now, this is what happens. If you raise a negative number to an even exponent, you will get a positive answer. So negative 3 raised to the power of 8 will give us positive 6,561. Then, let's evaluate the denominator. Negative times negative, so this will become positive. So, 1 plus 3. Continue. S of 8 is equal to 4 times... 1 minus 6,561 will give us 6,560. 1 plus 3 is 4. And if you are aware of the cancellation process, you could actually cancel 4 and 4, which will give you a final answer, which is 6,560. But let's say you are not aware that they could be canceled. You can still continue solving and you will still get the same answer. Let's continue as if you don't know how to do canceling. So S of 8 is equal to 6,560 times 4 will give you 26,240 divided by 4. Your final answer is still 6,560. That's your final answer. Now, let's proceed to our last example. So for our last example, find the sum of the first nine terms of 5, 10, 20, 40. Again, first step is to find the common ratio. Again, current term divided by the previous term, or this, or this. Either way, still the same. Common ratio is equal to 10 divided by 5 will give us... 2. So which means our common ratio is positive 2. Now let's go ahead and solve using the formula. First 9 terms, so this will become S sub 9 is equal to A sub 1 is 5 bracket 1 minus the common ratio which is positive 2 raised to the power of 9 and close bracket. And then 1 minus 2. Continue. S sub 9 is equal to 5 
times 1 minus 2 raised to the power of 9. So that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Multiply 2 by itself 9 times. And that will give you 512. And then 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Next, S sub 9 is equal to 5 times. 1 minus 512 will give you negative 511. Divided by negative 1. And then evaluate still. S sub 9 is equal to 5 times negative 511 will give you negative 2,555. Divided by negative 1. So your final answer is the sum of the first 9 terms of the given sequence is the negative divided by negative is positive. So that's positive 2,555. And that is the final answer. So that will be for today for our topic for the sum of the finite geometric sequence. So if, you have, if you have any question, just don't forget to leave it in the comment section below and I will make sure to respond to them. For now, thank you very much and I really hope you learned a lot today. Thank you.